Why, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. We are starting to kick this stream off right away. And hello, Hero Man in chat. We will be getting underway at the top of the hour with a matchup between Element Blue and Pog Frog to kick, to kick us off today. Some 3v3 action on the USC server, Tier 2, Division 11. Element Blue having Fright, Dr. Payload, Mr. Charles. And then for Pog Frog, we got Tiny Hype, Lyther, and Astronomy. So, at this point in the season, as you can see, there's no stats, but no games have been played. So, you're not going to have anything to go off of to kick you off week one. You're just going to have, honestly, for a lot of people in chat, who you know that brought you here, and you know how they play. But it definitely should be a relatively good matchup between Element Blue and Pog Frog. The one thing I can note is all the players in this lobby are typically tier two, and the only thing that stands out is Dr. Payload may technically be tier three, but. With that, you never know how players play. Certain players are very good at playing up around certain people. Other players are not. That would be my initial part of the prediction. And thank us, thank you everyone who ended up following uh kind of their tell now. Cool Muyo 9. That's uh the most recent one that I at least know was during this screen stream. Gino 8520 before that and shutters. So thank you all so much. But Bryce and Charlie getting it where the fans are hyping them up early on in this one. They don't want the smoke. Well, off predictions is at least just the starting point. Right now, Pog Frog at least pulling away with the vote if someone's willing to put it all down on Pog Frog, saying they will absolutely end up taking this game. Well, Element Blue at least does have a vote going for them as well. So we will end up seeing how this one does plan out once we get both teams into the lobby. We will kind of run through it one more time. Element Blue coming into this one with Fright, Dr. Payload, Miss Mick Charles. And on that, Dr. Payload is the one that I, I'm going to at least kind of put my eye on in the first game of saying, I think that's probably going to be the point of whether or not Element Blue, in my eyes, has the success. As if you have a player on your team that is... Uh, at least looking like they're playing up a tier. That's always a point that you got to see if they fit in well with the team or if they end up uh, having some slow rotations that don't quite fit, at least early in the season. As the season goes on, generally everyone gels together. And also at that point, more so you have the stats to kind of know how each team likes to play around each other. But that's the one thing I'd look for here. And as the other thing I always like to look for for the early uh, season games is... Just who kind of comes out and ends up playing better as a team off the start. Because mechanics can definitely get you places. But if you do not end up having that team play, it generally ends up putting uh, putting it where you'll get a lot of overcommits and just see a lot of like open, open nets and stuff going forward. Obviously, with a Tier 2 game, you typically don't see at least so much on the overcommit and that side of it. But it is something that if the team does not play well around each other, you will begin to notice it. And that will kind of be where the problems lie relatively early in the season. Thank you so much for the follow, Mr. Rick, by the way. And as I talked about with the Elemental Blue, how I'm looking at like Payload, they are up against Pog Frog, Tiny Hype, Lyther, and Astronomy, who 
I guess my point more is just like I'm saying, I like to uh, definitely see how these teams are going to come out play. And off of game one, I typically, at the end of that, at least for early season, kind of would make my general idea of, hey, this team is probably prone to finish here. There are never open nets with me on the field. I save everything. Hey, it, it's great if you have a player like that. But, you know, not not everyone has those SSL mechanics. So, uh, th there are some times that, uh, well, you have the, oh, I save everything, I score everything. Not all players can do it, and sometimes things get left open. But now the votes are kind of ending up swinging back in Element Blue's favor. And I will see here. We'll just shoot that out. We do have one team in the lobby, so we will at least jump on over to that for now. But yeah, it's it's definitely just being built different, right? Like that that's the whole thing. If you can just be built different like that, as you can tell, the last series I had ended in a 3-1. But we will clear that scoreboard as we are just getting underway. Such a basic thing to brag about. Good to see the smoke is so thin. Alrighty, just the chat getting in there. <laughs> but we do have all seven players up in the lobby, so we will be able to get this one underway shortly. Elemental Blue coming in versus Hog Frog. It is the top of the hour, and I am ready to kick it underway. <laughs> Some people like me are just really good. Hey, sometimes that is the way it goes. Already. I'm... All right, into this one, we see Element Blue joining, followed by Pog Frog. So now we have our teams. Element Blue taking that blue side. Pog Frog on that orange side. We will see how they are able to play this one on out. Starting off with the kickoff, Mr. Rick and Astronomy meeting up. Mr. Rick getting the better of the kickoff, getting a shot off of it. But Lyther able to make that save, going back across the net, waiting on it. Astronomy now trying to play low, 50s and on out off Tiny. Mr. Rick needing to make a save, pushing it back on out. Lifer now trying to play one. Ends up just high, but Tiny upward off the far side. Not quite able to get there. Fright bringing this one back on down the field. Not able to beat Astronomy taking the high. Well, maybe to push that one back on. McCharles now popping up the center. Mr. Rick met by Astronomy and across this one goes. Lifer in a Fright in a race for it now. Fright playing this one back down across from McCharles. Back off that side wall, but Tiny awaits it. Tiny trying to drop back down towards the center. Lyther able to at least get the push on out right now. Trying to go up to this. Getting a touch back on down. As it falls, McCharles trying to find something. But Tiny able to 50 it back on across. Astronomy playing back to that far side corner where Rick intercepts. Back out towards the center. This goes and McCharles able to jump on that one. Finding an opening where the rotation ended up having Tiny a little too far up the field there. And it was not quite able to be covered, so McCharles able to tuck it away. Element Blue going up one. Just about a minute played in this one. Still a lot of time left. All right, off second kickoff. Ends up going back into the blue side zone. Right, popping it on high. Astronomy up for it. Passing back on Tiny over that corner. Tiny taking their time. Trying to make sure that they don't just concede possession. 50 with Rick, but it does end up going to right. Light throw off the sidewall for Astronomy who plays up the field. Charles at least getting a touch on it. Back on out. Astronomy firing one that ends up going wide and across. Rick able to at least beat Tiny to the first touch. And firing one towards the net. Ends up off the cross, off the pipe. And out. Lyther playing back to the corner. Charles able to just sway there. But Astronomy getting the next touch. Lyther playing it back down. 
not finding much off of it. Fright diving in. 50 by life. They're almost onto the net. Nick Charles able to make the save in time. This one playing back on down. An unfortunate read on the blue defense. The tiny plays it back on across the far side corner. Fright able to at least make the clearance that is needed. On me popping back to center. Rick up for it. Ends up off that side pipe again. This one popping on high. Tiny. Pushing it back on out, able to stick with it, but Fright with 50, and this one's dropping down, but Astronomy able to push it back on out. Rick playing back in the corner, Leiter trying to start something, but McCharles not allowing it. This one will fall, and Rick is there, and the bump play in front to definitely tuck this one away, and Mr. Rick able to find it. As McCharles went and took the last possible defender out of this play after throwing it up. McCharles, I don't know if you can call him trash after that one. At least made the play to get his team a goal. So, Astronomy, though, taking this one off the kickoff, trying to play on out. This goes to that far side, dropping down from Lather. Not able to find the initial touch, but Tiny able to follow up. Firing one just high. Rick pushing it back to the side. Astronomy trying to fire across for Tiny. Not quite able to get to it. Out of the corner, Lather ends up 15 with Brighton. Out it goes. Astronomy not able to find it. McCharles putting one just wide. Tiny able to get a good to this one as it falls all the way back into the elemental blue corner. The Rick popping this one on high. Lyther up trying to tuck it away. Great shot, but even better save by McCharles to keep that one on out of there. Rick trying to put it down center. Tiny forcing 50 back out to the cross. Lyther getting a touch on it just wide. Tiny not able to find it. Playing back out towards that center of right. Able to at least intercept there. Astronomy now trying to take up a dribble. Able to play by one. Looking for a flick pass two. Is it able to get past the third? The bump on the last just high. Out back in front to Leither. Leither able to tuck that one away. The initial dribble play from Astronomy was great and then able to follow on up as they ended up with just one defender back, not able to deal with the entourage of orange attackers. Back on out, Lyther trying to get to it with a decent 50, but it ends up coming back center. Astronomy firing one, McCharles once again, a stone wall on that goal line, not allowing anything through. Lyther at least getting 50 of it. Astronomy trying to dive in, but McCharles able to get the beat. Up for Mr. Rick, but Tiny once again hits waiting. Charles with a shot. Leifler with the save. Back to the corner now. Miss Mr. Rick trying to drop it. Astronomy once again starting up a dribble play. A good flick pass. One not able to find the bump on Mick Charles. Mick Charles accepting. Tiny diving in there. Able to get the play. A demo on the last, and Tiny is able to convert on that Tiny. Hype putting in the goal as a Astronomy noticed the defense coming and able to get the demo on the one. Mr. Rick not able to give up to it in time. Pogfrog tying us back up to a piece with 52 seconds remaining. Anyone's game from here on out. Right, getting the better of the kickoff, but not able to find the boost steal. Astronomy able to at least get that one. Tiny trying to play forward, but Mr. Rick with 50. Charles now looking for the center. Able to get it on out, but Leither playing well. Back on out, Mr. Rick. Trying to throw it across. Astronomy pushing back into that blue side corner. Charles up for it. Trying to find something off the back wall. Like they're not able to find the initial read, but Tiny at least able to play on outwards. Right, playing on down. Does find its way past one. 50 back on out towards the center. Tiny not able to find the initial touch, but it does just end up being left for Astronomy. So Nick Charles able to at least get a piece of it. Leiter now out of their own half, not able to find it. Fright getting a piece. Tiny with a good 50 on out back into the elemental blue corner. Charles, Astronomy just playing across. That will kill it there. Overtime needed for game one. Charles able to at least get it past one, but this drops for Leiter. Leiter up for it, not able to find the touch. Mr. Rick might have just found it early in this one. As the read ends up just not quite being there off the initial pop. Leiter ends up getting bumped and Astronomy not quite finding the touch, leaving Mr. Rick the only one up for it to tuck it away. Putting Elemental Blue, Element Blue, not Elemental, up 1-0 in this series. Still is a best of five, first to three, so there definitely will be a fight back 
A very close game one up for grabs. Pog Frog fighting back, but unfortunately not able to fully complete the comeback in overtime element blue. Able to shut it on out. As we do have all six, we will be able to get this one underway for game two. Back at that center line, Mr. Rick and Leibler. As this one pops on to the side, right playing forward, but Astronomy is getting a piece of this one. But once again, the bump play is very prominent. Astronomy firing one. Mr. Rick able to get in the way. Tiny now trying to start up a dribble. Ends up getting a demo on it. Lyther firing, but Mr. Rick back in time to make that save. This will find its way past Astronomy right now. Trying to get to it. Lyther a soft plate off the wall. Right, trying to find a bump play. This one ends up off that near side pipe and back on out. Charles playing high. Tiny coming back across. Able to just make the clearance off to your side. Right getting on this one. Not able to get back to it. But it opens up Mr. Rick. Who off the inside of the upper left corner. And out. Not able to get back to it. Tiny now trying to fire. Ends up just high and wide. Like they're popping it back off that high point. Back on out. Astronomy able to win that race. And tuck this one away. Pog Frog going up one. About 50 seconds haven't been played. In this one, able to find it on the path from Blyther. Just able to beat the defender, tuck it away under him. Four minutes, seven seconds still remain. Mr. Rick and Blyther meeting up. Off corner, trying to find it back to it. It will at least get a play on it, but it ends up staying. And Charles out the fright. Met by Tiny Hype. Back on out, they play Tiny. Able to at least get a pass another one, but Mr. Rick looks to be back in time. Trying to play this one on out, getting one more touch. Lyther 50 with Mr. Rick there. Tiny once again trying to play forward, but Freight able to get in front of it. Astronomy back off this sidewall. Advancing on forward with another touch. Limited boost to work with, so Mr. Rick noticing that, diving in, able to get something going. Trying to find some offense for the return. Mr. Rick off that back wall. Out to Nick Charles, who is able to tuck it away. A good pass there to open up the defense. Perfectly placed to get it just past the first defender and put the last two defenders in an awkward position. Tying us back up at one apiece. A minute and a half had being played. Back to the center line. Astronomy and Mr. Rick as this one drops down. Tiny getting a bit of right. Diving back in there, 15. Leither looking to play on over Mr. Rick for waiting. On high off that wall, dropping on down. Fright able to at least dive in there. Astronomy making the needed touch. Push this one on high and out. Make Charles now trying to fire one. Tiny plays back to that corner. Leither able to get the better of this 50. Back on out. Fright trying to play high. Will just drop for Astronomy who ends up being demoed by Rick. Charles trying to play on forward, but Tiny bringing him to the air now. Back into the element blue corner. Mr. Rick trying to go up for it. Deciding limited boost. Better to wait. Life are able to win that race. Then back across looking for Tiny. Who plays back off that wall. Astronomy getting a touch back on towards center. But make Charles up for it. Pop and staying high. Tiny finding a demo on Fright. Maybe trying to dissuade something. Is back in time. Mr. Rick trying to play onwards. Limited boost to work with. But it might open up Fright in the center. With a good pass on out. And... Maybe the jump off the wall with the limited boost kind of had the defender buying that they might have had an air dribble, but it ended up being a pass to Fright on a cross. Element Blue tucking it away, taking the 2-1 lead. Just about half this game left to be played. Nick Charles off the wall. Trying to find their way back to it. This one jumps on out. Tiny able to find a pop pass. Another looking for a demo on the last. Not able to find it. Fright able to push this one back into the Pog Frog corner. Astronomy 50 in with Mr. Rick. Trying to find that center. Lyther diving in though and getting the better of it. Able to play past one. Out oh, make Charles able to force the 50 now. Tiny wrapping back on around it. Trying to play forward. Able to at least get a shot off from Mr. Rick back in time. Pushing it back on. Oh, back into that block for our corner. Lyther 50 for Mr. Rick finding the demo on him. Back on out it goes. Nick Charles high back in the corner now. Astronomy able to at least dissuade. Putting us back into that elemental blue half. Up it goes, dropping now, and Leifer playing it off the sidewall. Astronomy trying to get back in, but Mr. Rick able to find another good touch. Tiny having to play off that sidewall back up to center where Mr. Rick awaits, firing one. Astronomy close, but gets the save. Good save on it, making sure this one is just a one-goal game at this time. 
Lather diving on in there, met by McCharles. And right then, met again. Tiny playing back on high out towards the center. Mr. Rick not able to turn on it just wide on the initial shot. Lyther not finding anything in astronomy, trying to get in there, but the pinch off the wall from Dwight does end up finding Charles and advances this on into the frog frog corner, finding its way towards the center. Lyther able to at least make the needed save. People are still tied up. Astronomy not able to dribble it past Mr. Rick this time. Back into that corner, Dwight finding the pinch towards center. Tiny getting something on it out, looking for Lyther for Mick Charles able to intercept. Astronomy getting one touch on it, so at least keep it on and out. But it is some chaos in front of the net. Tiny. Able to push by right. Tiny able to get by another. Are they able to drop it out towards the center? But unfortunately, not quite there. 37 seconds remain. Pog Frog finds themselves an evening one. Mr. Rick finds a touch to fall back in front of the net. Tiny able to at least keep it back on out. Lyser taking it away from McCharles and starting up a dribble play here. Popping it towards the center of Fright. Intercepted, playing back on a cross from McCharles. Back in to Pog Frog corner. Only 19 seconds remain now. Charles trying to not able to find another touch on it. But this does play out to Mr. Rick, who's now firing one towards the center. And the defense has a mishap up off the crossbar, but ends up pinching on out. Astronomy not able to get the dribble is demoed by McCharles on the back. Mr. Rick just popping this one on high. McCharles off the ceiling, fright as well, sending the house on this last second play. And it ends oh, up falling. Not. Otherwise, they would have had a three on one fast break for the Pog Frogs. But Element Blue able to also. Close out in game two. Go up two to nothing in this series. Well, the scoreline may say two to nothing. It definitely has not said how close this series truly is to this point. Both these teams fighting tooth and nail, game in and game out. Game one inning overtime. Last one only a one goal differential. Playoff Rock just needs to be able to find that last little bit to get them over that hurdle in one of these games in order to possibly start it and swing the momentum back in their favor. As we go back to the center line, Tiny and Fright pinching this one on forward. Astronomy hitting on forward. Mr. Rick up for it. Able to clear it back on out in time. One falling back on down. Tiny height playing forward. Astronomy at least popping it. Advancing it onwards. Fright up for it. But Tiny able to at least win the race. Plays back in the corner for Lyther. Lyther looking to get back across on down. Trying to dunk McCharles. At least getting a piece of it back to the corner. Astronomy diving in now. One plays in the corner. McCharles. Taking their time, but Tiny able to at least get a good piece of it. Mr. Rick now bring it back on wide. Lyther trying to find it towards the center, but McCharles dissuading it. Tiny getting a piece of it, but falling on now, right up for it. Trying to tuck it and does tuck it into that near lower corner, finding the defender on the wall, realizing they cannot quite get back to that one. Able to tuck it perfectly placed by Fright. Putting Element Blue up that one goal, and if they are able to hold defensively, that could be the one to finalize out the series. And Mr. Rick even getting the better of the kickoff to follow Element Blue. Finding some good success here early. That one's more so Mr. Rick just having a little bit cleaner kickoff there. Able to tuck it out away. Back to the center line, Pog Frog find themselves needing two. Tiny at least able to get the better of the kickoff, but ends up just wide for right now. Trying to place this one on out. Astronomy meeting Mr. Rick. Tiny playing back on a cross towards that center. But it looked like Mick Charles was able to make the clearance. Right, trying to start a dribble demoed by Tiny to Mr. Rick. Trying to advance onwards and able to get back to it, but Astronomy there in that time. Starting up a dribble play, firing one ends up just wide in the net. Tiny not quite able to push it back on forward. Fright trying to take to the air, but Lyther able to intercept, but Mr. Rick ends up just wide. Astronomy not able to find the flick pass. Nick Charles back in the corner. This goes. Lyther looking to play it back on across. Fright playing on down. Tiny able to at least get there for it. Advancing on outward, Mr. Rick. Trying to push onwards. Lyther back in to the blue side corner now. Tiny able to win the race. Push it on forward further to make Charles waiting on it. Astronomy not able to find the touch. McCharles finding another. Is that on net? Tiny not quite able to find the save on it. McCharles will tuck that one away. Giving Element Blue a three goal lead with just about two minutes played in this game three. Element Blue definitely finding some momentum here. 
trying to close this series out in three games. Tiny meeting up with McCharles. Can Pogfrog find the swing of momentum back that they will need? Is it the tough task? And you are down three to pull yourself back into it. Back off the crossbar. Back on out of demo play. McCharles firing now, but a good save by Tiny. Got a three goal deficit. Swing on out. Freight looking like he will take this one. Freight going to that back wall. As Leiter ends up getting at least enough of a touch. Pinch it back on over. But Mr. Rick firing it off that far side post. Leiter able to at least push on outwards. McCharles now trying to wrap around it, but Astronomy getting to it first. Firing one off the crossbar, not finding itself. Tiny firing to the far side, but McCharles back in time. Will not break there. Mr. Rick finding a fright, but off the crossbar and out. Tiny trying to get back to it. Dropping it for Leiter. Leiter starting to dribble past one. It does. It gets the corner and in. Yes, it does. Leiter able to tuck one away, pulling Pogfrog back to within two. Two minutes and 19 seconds remaining. Demo not quite able to come through there. Leiter able to dribble away from it and tuck this one away. Still needing two goals though with just a bit more than two minutes remaining for Pogfrog. If they want to find themselves back into the series. Bright playing back on out. Tiny not able to get to it in time. Mr. Rick able to convert right away off that pass from Bright. Giving Element Blue that momentum right back. Still possible. Quad Frog will need to find three in the next 212, though, if they want to extend this series to Charles. Able to push it onwards out of this corner. Leiter waiting on it. 50 with Mr. Rick back on down. This one plays. Right, advancing on forward. Mr. Rick trying to play across to McCharles. Firing one ends up high and wide. Mr. Rick trying to find back. Not able to do so. Right, back off that sidewall. Leiter takes a slow dribble past one. But Mr. Rick diving in. Able to get a good piece of it. Back to the corner. It goes in out. Tiny trying to push it on outwards. Not quite finding it. Leiter now out of the corner. Trying to play forward. Is back across. This goes astronomy trying to pop past one. Able to at least get a piece of the shot from Rick. Opening up tiny. Tiny ends up just wide. McCharles off the back wall now. Trying to play on out. Looking off the ceiling. Able to get a good piece of this one. Back into the orange side corner. Leifler now awaits it. As it drops down for astronomy. Mr. Rick popping this one on high and up. Leifler able to get a piece of it back to the corner. Tiny out of the corner. Pushing past another one. But McCharles able to at least force 50 back on across. Leiter trying to fire it for Tiny upfield, but Tiny ends up dropping it on down off the corner. Mr. Rick and Astronomy 50 and Freud able to find the low ball. Mr. Rick trying to get back in front of it now. Leiter needing to get something started relatively quick. Fakes the first. Does not find the flick, but a demo and then the pop to get the shot to go away. Leiter finding success on this dribble. Good fake to start it, and then the, uh, I'll even call it a second one, a fake on that flick to make the defender commit and able to pop it after the fact. What a goal from Light there. Still need themselves two goals in the next 20 seconds. This kickoff ends up going straight to Fright. That might not help it. Fright looking for the double. Does double up, but it goes back on out. McCharles. Fogfrog is going to need to start sending the house relatively quick here if they're going to be able to find the two. But Mr. Rick has other plans. Leiter, great save to keep this a two-goal game. 24 seconds now remain. Astronomy playing low. A ground pinch ends up off the pipe. Not quite in. Leiter trying to get back to it and force it on out. But Fright able to push it wide. Tiny firing it across. Mr. Rick able to keep it on wide. With that clearance, that probably finalizes this series for Element Blue. Back on out it goes, Fright trying to tuck it away. Leiser with another great save for the road. As it is kind of open downfield, are they able to keep it up? Tiny at least trying to find another one, but that like Leiser able to at least get a piece of it, but will fall there. Element Blue find themselves on top in this exciting series. Fogfrog not quite able to find their way back into this one, but definitely were three close games. As Fogfrog able to at least. Like get some momentum there towards the end. Lights are definitely having some great dribbles and some great saves. But I think the kind of big difference there was Element Blue really knew what they wanted to do to play around each other. And they kind of, I think, saw more of that passing plays between the whole squad. And I'm going to say Mr. Rick and Fright were the two I kind of noticed more on the 
offensive side of it, McTryro seems like he was just stable on the defensive side of it, not letting anything through there. Barfrog, though, definitely having their moments. Lyther also just almost popping off to the point of a pulling it all the way back here in Game 3. Not able to necessarily do it. But that's where we will end up closing this one on out. Definitely was a blast to cast. We will see whether or not any other caster is live. It looks like they currently are not live with any other IGL lobby. So we probably will just close it out there before we do so. We can end the prediction. As it was Element Blue able to close that series on out really hard fought. Both teams having their moments. Ideally going forward, you guys both can build off that game one. Find that momentum. And uh, good luck in the rest of your IGL seasons. It was a blast casting you guys. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will uh, maybe run into you guys later in the season if I end up casting you again. So... Good luck down the rest of the road, and thank you so much for having me cast this one. Later.